Hey guys, it's Jonathan again. I'm here with Chris Dorman, architect. Hi. And um, tell us a little bit about why you like to work with people and why you think people need to use an architect. Uh, it's a question that comes up quite a bit, especially down here at the home show like we are today. Um, people will ask, uh, you know, why do I need an architect to help me design my home? With an architect can give you the opportunity of making decisions in your home that are right for you. You don't have to build a house that's any bigger than what you need, so even if, say you save a couple hundred square feet on the design of your house, that can pay for your architectural fees right there. And, uh, and living, being able to live the way you want in your house today is one of the, I think one of the biggest reasons why HGTV and all the, the cable shows on design are so popular, it's just they make it look so easy on TV, it's poof, design is there and it's done. But it, it, it's not easy, but it, it can be uh, it can be obtained by just uh, by just working with the right people. And, yeah, on uh, HGTV, they they have people like me as a designer in the background as the design consultant. So they actually do have the designers there. I know working with my clients, I always try to get involved with the architect or get them involved with an architect because I think everyone's home should reflect their personality, and their personality doesn't come out of a book of plans that. You know, that house has been built on every golf course in between here and, and Timbuktu. Yep. So I think you get a, a much more original plan, and, and it actually fits your lifestyle. And I don't, it, like you said, you can actually save people money. As a designer, I know I save people money because I help them to not make mistakes. Right. And I'm sure it's, it's the same situation for you. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of times, you know, people have friends that have done projects, they've done additions or renovations or built a new home. And they, they get done and they, they go through this list of, uh, if I did this again, I would do this differently. If I did this again, I would do this differently. Well, you know, you spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. Why do you want to sit in that house every day and wish that you would have done things differently? If there's anything that you wish you'd done differently, it should be very small, very small items that, uh, that come up just because of, you know, how you've lived in the house over the years that, that help you to see that. It shouldn't, be, uh, it shouldn't be big things that make you want to build another house in order not to have that issue again. And that's one of the things that uh, architects and designers can help you with, keep you from making those those mistakes as you move ahead so that you, you're able to enjoy the process and enjoy the outcome. I think that's a big part of it. I know one of the things that I, I've noticed as an interior designer and when I'm working with an architect and a client, uh, you're mending, you're kind of bringing together two personalities, the, of the husband and the wife, or the partners, and that sometimes is, is a, a source of, of contention sometimes yep. that a third party or even a third and fourth party yep. can help blend that together seamlessly yep. and come up with a design that actually fits both of them and, and takes care of that. Have you found that also? Yeah, and it's uh, it's really interesting to see when you can develop the design that takes what may seem to be two uh, opposing goals, one from a husband and one from a wife, and resolve them in the same design so that uh, um, they both are happy in the same house. It's like a marriage, you know? It brings it both together and the, the, the joy that that can bring in the process and the anxiety that it, that it eliminates is tremendous in that. Um, you know, I work with my, my in-laws, if you're watching, uh, and uh, um, they had different ideas of what they wanted in the house. It caused a lot of tension. And, uh, but when we were able to develop the design for them that incorporated both of their goals in the same house by understanding what was behind their Attention, be sure to stop by the booth uh, 1203 Connor Tucker at 2 o'clock for a food cooking demonstration. It, just, it, it was a game changer for them. Yeah, I, I, mean, I have heard so many times that when building a house, I mean, building a house can be such a strain on a personal relationship that, I mean, they've caused divorces building houses. And I find that when we're working with an architect and we have that party that's handling all of those they can, the people can deal through you as an architect and not be through each other. And I think that is such a, a great working relationship. It becomes a symbiotic relationship between designer, architect, and client. So thank you very much, Chris. It's been a really pleasure meeting you. So.